a lot of you follow me because you're into real estate or mortgages, but then a lot of you follow me because I hunt or fish or dive or you're in college and you have no idea what I'm talking about. In the mortgage world, you have purchases and refinances. So you're purchasing a home, you're either gonna use your money or you're gonna use other people's money. So your bank account or liquidate some stocks, or you're going to go through a mortgage lender and use other people's money. You're gonna get a mortgage. Using your own money is a lot simpler. You pay cash. It's not that regulated. You can close in five days, you can close in a week. But if you're getting a mortgage like 65% in the US, then it's a longer drawn out process, a 30 to 45 day process. And the regulations make it a lot more difficult now. So you used to be able to close in a couple of weeks, no problem. But now we have to follow all the government regulations and you close in 30 or 45 days. You either use your money or you use other people's money. You get a mortgage. You can't use Bitcoin yet. The other part of my world as a loan officer is refinances. So someone bought a home a couple years ago, interest rate was 5%, let's say. Interest rates are lower than 5% now. The market's been going down for the past year or so, last year or two, and interest rates have dropped. They've decreased. So that person can refinance to market rate today, which is a lot lower, but you're gonna have closing costs. So depending on where you live, you might have three, five, eight thousand dollars in closing costs, depending on your loan amounts. Steve, I don't wanna refinance if I gotta pay five thousand dollars in closing costs, but you gotta do the math. So if you refinance to a lower interest rate and you save two or three hundred dollars a month, then you're going to recuperate those closing costs in a certain amount of time. So if you're gonna sell your home in a year, it might not make sense to refinance. But if you're gonna stay in your home for five or 10 or 30 years, it would make sense to refinance because you're gonna have a lower monthly payment. You always have options when you're refinancing. So if your interest rate is X percent, I'm not allowed to actually say a number because of government regulation, but we'll say it's X percent. You have $5,000 in closing costs. You can get a interest rate of a little bit higher and have $2,000 of closing costs. Or you can get an interest rate a little bit higher than that and have no closing costs. So there's always options with refinancing if you're not sure if you're gonna be in your house for a long amount of time. With how low interest rates are right now, everyone is refinancing. Literally everyone is refinancing if you haven't already. And a lot of loan officers are spending the majority of their time writing refinance mortgages and not spending time on taking care of their borrowers, taking care of the clients they're trying to buy a home. And when the market moves in six months, 12 months, a year, however long, then those realtors and those borrowers are gonna say, hey, loan officer, See ya. I'm going to go to Steve now because he has always been there for us focusing on purchases.